United States is a proud partner with Estonia as it acquires this advanced artillery system. Well, the system's range and mobility are integral. The HIMARS' primary advantage is its lethal precision. systems will be here uh, probably by the end of uh, 24 or in, in the beginning of 25 so it depends uh, how fast Lockheed Martin can produce them and definitely we are ready to uh, take them in, into our system, uh, army as soon as possible and this is also one of the reasons we have our allies from the United States at the moment here that we can already prepare ourselves also for our own systems. to their uh, military operational specialty school. Um, for this one, it's, it's six to eight weeks. Uh, but most of the training is conducted on the job at the first duty station. Regarding the martyrs, we want to send a battalion which consists of roughly 40 vehicles. Those 40 vehicles should be ready in the first quarter and then it would be handed over to Ukraine. Experts are saying the training will take about eight weeks and the training will take place in Germany beforehand. The United States too will train Ukrainian personnel on the Bradley fighting vehicles within themselves. Whether this training will happen in Germany in US training bases or in the United States, I have no knowledge of. The French announced this a day earlier than the Germans and the Americans. The preparations for this decision did not just fall from the sky. They take time. So first of all, it's very good decision that the international community is acting so closely and at lockstep. 